Look at my polar bear pants. <laughs> Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I am here to announce something very special. Me and nine other ladies here on booktube are hosting the Kindle Unlimited Weekend Readathon. So this is going to be a readathon where we all read Kindle Unlimited books solely from the 27th to the 29th of December. There's no rules or challenges you need to do. You just read Kindle Unlimited books. I'm really excited for this because I've been meaning to get more into Kindle Unlimited reads. Um, so if you have any recommendations, please link them down below or leave them down below for me and for other people to find to get recommendations from. I'm actually going to be posting a Kindle Unlimited recommendations video very soon in preparation for the readathon in case anybody wants some recommendations before the readathon starts so anticipate that video coming in the next week or so. I really love Kindle Unlimited. I've had it for maybe over a year two years now. I don't remember but I love Kindle Unlimited. I love the opportunity it gives indie authors out there to put their work out there and all that jazz. So um, I'm excited to be reading more Kindle Unlimited works. There are 10 hosts including me. First, we have Jess from Peace of Books, Riley Marie, Chandler Ainsley, Brie Hill, Chelsea Dolling Reads, Lacey Book Lovers, Melissa H, Shelby Taggart Reads, and Steph's Romance Book Talk. I love all of these ladies. I have been watching them for so long. I love every single one of them. I've been subscribed to every single one of them for a while. I love all of them and I'm just in shock that I get to be a part of all of this. I am very blessed and grateful to be asked to be a part of this. I've never hosted a readathon ever before. This is gonna be really fun and I'm really 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 excited. <laughs> Just fair warning, uh, the week that the readathon is, the 27th of December to the 29th, I am going out of town. <laughs> I go to a small little town in Texas about maybe three hours away from where I live in Houston and we go there every single New Year's. I leave town on the 27th. <laughs> so I will be getting a lot of audiobooking in too, but I'm making sure that the audiobooks that I'm listening to are also on Kindle Unlimited. So since I'm going out of town, I'm yeah, I'm getting a lot of audiobooking in because I'm going to be driving or I'm going to be in the passenger seat of someone driving. I don't know who's driving. So I don't know if I'm gonna be driving or my sister's gonna be driving, I don't know. I wouldn't be able to read on my phone if I was in the car anyway, not driving because I get car sick very easily so I'd probably pop in some headphones and listen to an audiobook so some of them are audiobooks some of them aren't um so I'll talk about those in a minute but uh I'm going to be planning on doing a weekend reading vlog for this I believe every person that's a host is doing it as well um so look forward to those when those get posted mine is going to be all in the country where there is no signal. <laughs> it's a really tiny town and the place that I'm staying on is like a ranch. There's no signal on the ranch, but there is signal in the town. I'm probably going to spend be spending a lot of my time in the little local library they have in the town, which I absolutely love. I guess look forward to some country-esque content because I'm gonna be basically on a farm for the whole weekend. <laughs> Anyways, enough of me blabbering about myself. I'm gonna be talking about the books on my TBR. All of these books are subject to change <laughs> and there are way too many books for me to actually complete in this weekend. I have 10 books that I've put aside. I am not going to read every single one of them. I am a very big mood reader. I like to give myself options. So these are the 10 options I've given myself for this weekend readathon. <laughs> also I'm gonna be reading from my laptop a little bit through this because I don't know a lot about these ebooks. If you see me looking down that's what I'm looking at. Okay, the first book on this list is Lonin's War by Jeff Kennedy. I've been wanting to read this for a very, very long time. I don't know why I haven't read it yet. This one is 201 pages, so it's fairly short. This is the first book in a fantasy romance series. It's about this princess, Aurea, who has spent a long time studying her people's barbarian enemies, the Destri, and neglected the search to calm that which will control her magic and release her to society. Aurea is near giving up. Then the Destry attack and her people's life depend on her handling their prince. It says when the cornered Destry decide to fight back, Lonin never thought that he'd live through the battle, let alone demand justice as a conqueror. And yet he must keep his guard against the sorceress who speaks for the city. Oria and Lonin have one final sacrifice to choose before an even greater 
threat consumes them all. So I guess this is a fantasy enemies to lovers romance. This summary has always intrigued me so much. The cover has always intrigued me. So I think I might get to this one. Next we have Penny's Protector by Ruby Dixon. This is book number 10 in the Ice Home series, which is a spinoff series of the Ice Planet Barbarians. I will talk about the Ice Planet Barbarians in my recommendations video that will come out soon. Ice Planet Barbarians and Ice Home are basically a sci-fi alien romance series all about human women that are abducted by evil aliens, but that evil alien ship gets crash landed onto an ice planet filled with good aliens. Uh, they're blue Sakui men. They have like a symbiote in their body that indicates to them when their mate is near. Um, so it's about human women getting mated with blue alien men. Sometimes they're not blue alien men. There are other aliens that get crash landed too throughout the series. I just think it's going to be a really sweet cutesy one a part of the series so I'm excited for this one also. Next we have Gilded Rose by Emma Hamm. This is book number one in the Celestial series. I personally love Emma Hamm. If you ever want to get into fantasy romance, I totally recommend Emma Hamm. Right here is one of my favorites by her. It's called Heart of the Fae, Beauty and the Beast Retelling. It looks like this book, Gilded Rose, is also Beauty and the Beast Retelling. Oh, it's a very short summary. So here we go. It says, the world is plagued by creatures called the Dread and he's their king. I've tried to run, I've tried to hide, but there is no escaping him. He wants to turn me into one of the creatures, unless I find a way to break the curse. A curse that has turned him into the monster that he is. He wasn't supposed to destroy cities. He's one of the celestials meant to save humanity. As I uncover the truth and break his curse, I wonder if I've lost myself in the process. Can I still escape him? Or has he taken my heart forever? I love Emma Ham and I have yet to read this series by her, so I'm excited for this one also. This one is 340 pages, so it's kind of higher on the page count that I would like to read, um, but if I'm really feeling it at the time, I might pick it up. Next we have The Cruel Fae King by A.K. Kunins? Conins? I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that. This one is 274 pages. It is a sexy fantasy romance series, the first in the Cursed Kingdoms series. He says that this girl is his fated mate, but she says that he is her enemy. She has been stripped of her royal title because of him and was banished to a deserted island and left there to die because of him. When she becomes the last option, does this man remember that she exists at all? Now this cruel king has taken her captive to be his bride, join his people, and save his kingdom from a spreading plague. The girl says, I'd rather die than be a fated mate or a savior for the cruel king. This just looks good. I love mate books. I love fey books. Also, this cover is really great in my opinion. Um, so I've heard nothing about this book from anybody. So I wanna know what I think of it. Next we have The Wild Air by Karina Halley. This is book number two in like the royalty companion series or something like that. This is about Crown Prince Magnus of Norway. And I believe he's like really um, adventurous and a big daredevil and kind of the ladies man, but he gets swept up in a scandal and leaves the entire royal family in hot water. And it says the scandal has made him either abdicate the role's future king or get married to a blue blooded stranger. Enter Princess Isabella of the tiny country of Lincolnstein. Oh my god, did I pronounce that correctly? I'm so sorry if I did not pronounce that correctly. Ella does not like the arrangement any more than King Magnus does, and she's not afraid to show it. She knows that he's a womanizer and a playboy and everything. So I guess this is a romance between Ella and Magnus, and it's an arranged marriage, and I really want to see how their dynamic works. Um, I haven't really heard about this one all too much about within the series. I've heard a lot about The Swedish Prince and A Nordic King. I've read both of those. I have not read this one yet in the series, so I really want to know what I think about it. Also, if you read this book, please let me know and tell me what you thought about it. Next, we have The Rogue Royal by Karina Halley. This is the fourth newest book in that companion series also. It is an unexpected pregnancy romance. It's about Princess Stella, Princess of Denmark, and she was in a scandalous divorce and is a single mother. I believe she starts up a relationship with Prince Orlando of Monaco. It's just a little affair to her and everything, but I believe it becomes even more serious and I guess it becomes an unexpected pregnancy romance. <laughs> I really wanna know about this one too. I haven't heard people talking about this one either, so I would love to know more about it and hopefully I will get to this one soon. This one is 268 pages, so it is under 300 pages, which is my ideal number. The next three and last three books are all books that are 
audiobooks that I could read, listen to. They are also on Kindle Limited, so if I want to, I could read them in ebook format. These three are also all on Audible Escape. Audible Escape is another service through Audible. Um, you pay a fee, a certain fee a month to get an unlimited access to certain books on Audible. Most of them are romance. First we have The Pact by Karina Halley, <laughs> another Karina Halley book. Okay, this is about our two main characters, Lyndon and Stephanie, and they have always been really close friends, and they've always, like, couldn't ever, like, see each other as a significant other. Like, they've never really thought about it, they've refused to, but then they make a pact when they're in their mid-20s that by the time they're 30, if they are not married, they will marry each other. And I guess this is their relationship and maybe dealing with, um, they may be getting married when they're 30. I'm not very sure, but this cover is gorgeous and I think I've heard really great things about this one. This audiobook is only 10 hours. I read it on two times speed. I feel like this would be a great audiobook for me to listen to in that weekend. Next we have Eleanor and Grey by Brittany C. Cherry. This one I've been hearing buzz, 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 buzz about. I believe it is about Eleanor and Grey and I believe they were in a relationship when they were younger, maybe teenagers. I'm not really sure. Apparently when they were teenagers, Grey broke her heart maybe. It takes place many years later and she becomes the nanny to his children. I don't know what happened to the mother, but the mother is not in the picture, I don't think. So it's them maybe reconnecting in their relationship. I've heard great things about this book, especially from Shelby from Shelby Taggart Reads, who is a host with this readathon. I trust her opinion and this is only a nine and a half hour audiobook, so I believe this one could be a great contender as well for this weekend readathon. And the last book that I have on my TBR is The Air He Breathes by Brittany C. Cherry. This one is eight and a half hours, so the shortest out of the audiobooks. And this one is the first book in a like companion romance series, like I think it's called like The Elements or something like that. I read the fourth and final book in that series, The Gravity of Us, and I loved it, cried my eyes out, five out of five stars, wonderful read. I decided I would maybe try to start with the first book in the series. Summary is very vague and it's very short, so I'll just read it to y'all. I was warned about Tristan Cole. Stay away from him, people said. He's cruel, he's cold, he's damaged. It's easy to judge a man because of his past, to look at Tristan and see a monster, but I couldn't do that. I had to accept the wreckage that lived inside of him because it also lived inside of me. We were both empty. We were both looking for something else, something more. We both wanted to put together these shattered pieces of our yesterdays. Then perhaps we could finally remember how to breathe. I believe Brittany C. Cherry just like writes really hard-hitting books from what I can tell. The Gravity of Us was a really hard-hitting book and if I'm feeling in the mood for a more hard-hitting romance, I'm probably gonna pick this one up then. So there you have it. That is my TBR hopefully for the Kindle Unlimited Romance readathon. Let me know down below if you were planning on participating. I would love to know. Please check out all of the ladies that are also hosts in this readathon. I'm linking all of them down below. I love every single one of them near and dear. If you love romance books, I need you to subscribe to all of these ladies. They are absolutely wonderful and I love all of their recommendations and all of their thoughts on romance books. Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all soon in the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.